Welcome to Travels with the Russells. We invite you to join us on our adventures as we explore different countries, their cultures, sites, and significant historic and religious monuments. We invite you to please like and subscribe to our channel, Travels with the Russells. Well, good morning, and here we are in Lemba. Now, uh, Lemba is a small village in Paphos area of Cyprus and it is well known for its uh, potters and pottery, ceramics and being a bit crazy, a bit mad. So you can see the sea behind me there. We'll have a little walk around together see what we can find. This morning in uh, Lemba, Paphos. A working uh, pottery. Again, I'm not going to go in due to mask wearing and COVID and all this nonsense. like a little kiosk or something the municipality a bit breezy this morning on top of this hill the sea looks very blue lovely So please be aware this is a wedding venue. Okay. <laughs> She's quite surprising. Yeah, it's all warm. Not hot, just warm, not cold. I guess that's what warm means. <laughs> So this is uh, gully and this is why this uh, little valley is so green and lush. Because if you don't know these things are uh, here then uh, well, you don't know do you? And um, people will have been to Cyprus and Paphos many times and not have seen a lot of the uh, areas simply because they don't know. Again, I guess welcome shade in the summertime.
again, I guess uh, the stones here are trying to prevent you going in these caves. If it wasn't so uh, muddy and it was summertime, I might venture in for a look around. I can certainly hear running water inside the cave. Interesting. Possibly in the summer it will have dried out. are quite good, quite dry. Well if you go off the path a little bit it looks a bit muddy. I was going to say this big old tree seems to be dead. But then, all part of it, so. Tree's still fine. These things got me on the way down. I yeah, see the big spikes on them hanging down here. Not very pleasant. You walk into them. So we've climbed back up, back up to the top, just about where we started. So I was saying one thing that uh, Lemba is famous for is its uh, ceramics and pottery. And some of it is a bit out there. Uh, we're going to see an example of that in a few seconds. So we'll uh, cross over here and here we have some examples of the craziness or the artwork. So yeah, to say, oh, I know what it is, well, oh, that's the lady, the gate's all closed so I can't go in I'm afraid, again I think it's Covid, Covid restrictions, some interesting, strange and wonderful, toilet basin <laughs> sink I think that's supposed to be the Sphinx from Egypt 
<coughs> more bits of sink. These are all beer bottles. Minotaur. Another Minotaur. It looks like it's undergoing some renovation. So there's some works going on. On the buildings and things. Shame. Dog's peeing on the post there. Some of it's quite, well, a lot of it's quite naive, I think. Oh, yeah. There are workmen down there, and the building I can see inside is, is under renovation. It's fine. A uh, Donation box. Well, I suppose every little helps. They're suggesting a one euro donation. I don't think that's out of the way. Put a few coins in there. Cyprus is a fantastic place. It's in many countries if you try to do something like this. A, it would get vandalised, and B, the councillor would be round telling you to uh, take it down ASAP before you ended up in court because you didn't have planning permission. <coughs> but, uh, some kind of creature that they've done there. So, I think that can uh, conclude our trip to Lemba. If you're in Papos and you have a car and you fancy a, a wander around a, a nice little village for an hour, then Lemba is good. There's also an archaeological site here, which is on one of my other videos, which is the prehistoric settlement at Lemba. Uh, these are all uh, mud houses, etc. Find that on our YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me this morning. I'll see you on the next one.